everybody. Okay, this is a video response for two of six solutions. And two of six solutions just told the story about when he was younger and a kid walked by and kicked rocks at another group of kids. Um, unfortunately, the rocks hit two of six solutions. And his video says shameful on it. Uh, and in his description it says, I'm not proud of this. Now, two of six, your response was, your video was actually a response also to Kayev, and I did see Kayev's video yesterday. However, I was doing something else at the same time, so I didn't pay full attention to it. But I did get the gist of it, and Kayev's story was that his title of his video was, I beat up a cripple once, I'm shameful. And his story was about a child who was crippled, but was also a bully. And Kaya was very torn between um, kicking the kid's butt because he was a bully and not kicking the kid's butt because he was crippled. He was like really torn, went back and forth on him. Now, um, because I wasn't paying full attention to Kaya's video, um, I don't n remember exactly which words he used, but two of six. I'm going to address one particular word that you used. I know we'll be interested to see what your response is to this, too. You said, and I can't remember your exact words either, but basically you were going to let it go. You didn't think it was any big deal until you turned around and saw the group of kids that the rocks were intended to hit laughing, and amongst them was a pretty girl. And when you saw that, you felt the need to defend your res your se sense of respect for yourself, okay? You felt that you were being disrespected. You didn't say it exactly that way. But at least three times you said uh, you felt torn because uh, you felt like you needed to defend your own respect. Okay, that's the word I'm going to take issue with because... It wasn't respect that was threatened. It was your pride. And maybe you can call them interchangeable in this case. A lot of words have dual meanings. But it still boils down to pride. And there's a scripture in the Bible, which I'm going to totally slaughter now because I've memorized it from the King James Version when I was a child and then from the NIV, and now I've read several different translations and it's all convoluted in my brain. But the gist of it is, pride goes before a fall and a haughty spirit before destruction. And pride is one of the things that God just hates. It just always gets us in trouble. And I know you said that you heard uh, of a terrible sound when your fist made contact with the other kid's face. Um, anybody who's watching this, it, the link will be below here so that you can follow it and watch Two of Six Solutions video. It's very short, so you don't have to worry about watching a long video. And you can hear his story and weigh in on this. But just the way you worded it, your, your choice of words and the way you told the story, every time you said respect, I heard pride. Now, granted, you were much younger, people. Don't go back jumping on him, okay? <laughs> they were telling stories from when they were children, and we all did some stupid stuff when we were children. Now, when, and, and the one thing I wanted to say about Two of Six Solutions, one thing I know about you is you have enough self-respect that you would not have reacted that way. That's why I know it was pride. We allow ourselves to at certain times in life get all puffed up and feeling kind of arrogant and prideful and how dare they treat me that way and who are you to think that you can get away with that with me <laughs> so um, that's not respect it's pride that's my opinion and of course I'm basing my opinion on the Bible <laughs> that's pretty much where all my opinions come from so I would like to hear your comments your feedback on that Okay, talk to you later, guys. Bye.